Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you, Pastor Agu. And I'd like to thank Pastor Adeboye too. Thank you, Daddy Gio. It is, it is an honor. It is an honor to be here. And I'm proud of this festival, which started as a camp just off the Lagos Expressway and set the world alight is now a permanent fixture here in London. And I'm delighted it's getting bigger and it's getting better every year. Now I have to say, I don't envy the organizers of tonight. It must be like the feeding of the 5,000. Except, I can see you. You are 45,000. You must be relieved that it's just spiritual food on the menu tonight. Now, I remember when my good friend Boris Johnson came here to the Festival of Life a few years ago, he made some comments on the subject of aspiration. He said he believed in aspiration and he looked out into this huge crowd and he said he knew someone would I be out there who would follow in his footsteps, someone who would one day become mayor of this great city of London. Well, I would go further. I believe in aspiration. I believe the only limit to someone's potential is their own ambition and talent. And I look out into this crowd and I can see someone who will hold my role and become Prime Minister of this great country. Please. I just hope I hope you can hold off for a while just yet. Now for me, for me tonight is about one thing. It's about family. You're here with your own family. Parents and children, siblings and cousins, aunts and uncles. And you're united with your spiritual family. Old friends, dear friends, people you've known for many years. And together, we are all part of one family. As Jesus said with his arms outstretched to his disciples, here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, my sister, and my mother. And that, and that is what we are. As God's children, we are all one big family. Now, when I was a child, when I was a child, I had a very specific image of what a church was. I thought to be a church, it had to be an old gray building with a slate roof and a big spire, that it had to have pews and a pulpit and a graveyard where the naughty boys would play hide and seek. But I was wrong, and you proved that. You proved that church is people. Church is a family, and it doesn't matter what the roof is made of, because with your energy, your devotion, your love of Jesus Christ, you raise that roof every time. 
Now, your dedication to family, your family in blood and your family in humanity, it goes way beyond this room. I think of how many ways you love your neighbor, with care for those who are sick and lonely, with mentoring for teenagers who think they have no hope, with fundraising for hospices, for looked after children, for those suffering unimaginable trauma overseas. And like Jesus turning water into wine, you turn loneliness into companionship. You turn deprivation into comfort. You turn lost lives into lives with purpose. For years, I have tried to explain to people what the big society is. Some people were determined not to understand it. Well, I should have brought them here to the Festival of Life, because this is the big society in action, and it's as vibrant and as loud and as powerful as ever. Now, just think how great our country, Britain, could be if we built on that, if we had an even bigger big society where even more people shared your family values, values of prudence, of hard work, of looking out for those who fall on hard times. With these values, we can achieve the Britain we all want to live in, where the oppressed are cared for, where the lonely are befriended, where it's not where you come from, but it's the content of your character that really matters. And tonight, let us be proud that this is a Christian country where we stand. Where we stand for the freedom to practice your faith and where we stand up for Christians and all those who are persecuted anywhere in our world. They are family too. A year ago this week, 276 Nigerian schoolgirls were cruelly snatched by Boko Haram. I am a father of two young daughters, Florence and Nancy, and I have an understanding of what it's like to lose a child in tragic circumstances. So my prayer tonight, like yours, is that those girls will be found soon and there will be peace in Nigeria. So thank you once again for having me here tonight with you. Thank you once again to the great pastor, Daddy Gio. Thank you. Thank you to Pastor Agu and your team. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for making the Festival of Life such a great British tradition. So let us let us tonight join with our brothers and sisters here. Let us pledge to make this big society bigger. Let us pledge to make our country greater. And let us make this festival of life even better, even better, even louder, even prouder next year. Thank you. Thank you and good night. Now, we are, we, are, we are a praying community, and it would be totally unlike us to have the Prime Minister here without saying a prayer for him. And I'm going to invite our spiritual father, Daddy Gio, as we fondly call him, to come and say a prayer for the Prime Minister. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Will you please stretch your hands to our Prime Minister and together pray that the Almighty God will give him wisdom, the wisdom of Solomon. God will give him the courage of David. So that in his days and in our days, Great Britain will be great again. 
Go ahead. Let's let's pray. Let's pray together. Pray that God will grant him divine wisdom and courage and strength and special anointing from heaven so that in his days and in our days great britain will be great again that the entire glory of this nation will be fully restored that there be revival in this land thank you father and so father almighty we want to thank you for our prime minister your word says that we are to pray for those who are in authority and so in obedience lord to your commandment we pray that we will give our prime minister divine wisdom yeah. divine enablement yeah. divine courage yeah. so that he will rule this nation aright yeah. and that during his time and during our own days great britain will be great again yeah. Father, you are the burden bearer. Help him to carry his burdens. Please bless him. Bless his family. And Lord God Almighty, bless United Kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Go on, let's appreciate our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable David Cameron.